Hey, Dr. Barry here. In this quick video, I wanna to explain to you how you can properly use Bulletproof Coffee and Fat Bombs to maximize your results on the ketogenic diet and the ketogenic way of eating. Uh, welcome to keto, okay? If you're new to this, I'm, I'm so glad you found this channel and this video. I hope that you will learn from this. I have a ton of other ketogenic videos on the channel you can search out and watch till your heart's content. Uh, I wanna talk to you today about Fat Bombs and Bulletproof Coffee and how you can use them to hack your biological system and achieve your weight loss and health improvement goals. First, please take one second and click the subscribe button right down there. That helps me reach you every time I have a new bright idea like this one, you'll be one of the very first to know. Now, let's talk about Fat Bombs, Bulletproof Coffee, and why they're such a big deal in the ketogenic diet, okay? The ketogenic diet is a very, very powerful diet. It's by far the most powerful diet I've ever recommended to my patients in my over 13 years of medical practice. Back when I was a dumb doctor and didn't know any better, I used to recommend the American Diabetic Association diet or the American Heart Association diet or the Weight Watchers diet or whatever. I didn't know better, okay? I didn't know that, that we could actually hack our system, hack our hunger hormones, hack our insulin. And basically, it's just a, it's a it's a shortcut to get to where you want to be and not have to suffer the entire way. If you've tried diets in the past, like Weight Watchers, Vegetarian, Flexitarian, Jenny Craig, whatever, you remember that your uh, worst enemy, yet your constant companion during those diets was hunger. The beauty of the ketogenic diet is if you do it properly and use these two tools, you're not hungry. And it's so much easier to stick to a diet when you're satiated, when you're full, when you're not starving to freaking death, right? I remember those days when I was trying to cut back and I thought, well, I'll just, I'll burn more calories than I'll eat. I'll eat less and, and exercise more. And yeah, that didn't work very well for me. I failed miserably at that, just like every one of you guys did. And so we're going to talk today as I plug my phone in because my battery's low. There we go. You didn't notice that at all. So first, let's talk about Bulletproof Coffee, why that helps, why people do that, why you should do that, okay? Bulletproof Coffee, uh, even though there's a name brand of Bulletproof Coffee, and, and, and I've tried it, it's very delicious, it's very good coffee, but it's also very expensive. And so if you're doing keto on a budget, do not spend your money on any of these name brand Bulletproof products, although they're great products. Wait till you make your fortune, then you can buy real name brand Bulletproof Coffee, but there's no need to do that right now. You just need to get a good quality name brand coffee. I like to use Starbucks uh, Sumatra or uh, Verona, or Breakfast Blend, French Roast, any of those are fine. Any coffee that you love. Now, I like coffee really strong. If you like it not so strong and bold, get the flavor that you like. As long as it has zero carbs and zero protein, you're in good shape. Now, you're going to add to that coffee either grass-fed butter, and if you can't afford grass-fed, regular butter will do. What you don't ever want to put in your mouth again for the rest of your life is margarine. Throw that crap away because it belongs in the garbage, right? But you can add butter to your coffee. And at first, when you first hear that, you might think, ooh, gross, what? No, trust me. Get a $3 frother off Amazon. I'll put a link down below and get some bulletproof coffee. Uh, you get some butter and put in there, let it, let it melt, and then use your frother to blend it. Dude, delicious, delicious coffee. And it's actually hacking my hunger hormones and hacking my insulin. And I'm going to explain how in just a minute. Okay. So like I said earlier, the biggest thing that makes people fail on a diet when you're trying to lose weight is hunger. Oh my God, I'm starving to death. Right? So when you put butter or when you put coconut oil, that's perfectly fine. You can put the solid kind, just make sure it's an organic, pure, name brand coconut oil. You don't want to be getting some crap that's pseudo coconut oil. You can also use MCT that works better than, than any other kind of uh, liquid, I think. I think the butter, the coconut oil, and the MCT oil, I think those are the things, right, that you should use in your Bulletproof coffee. I get the best results with those. You can also use heavy cream, but even though heavy cream says zero grams of protein, it has 0.9 or 0.95 grams of protein. And for me, I felt like that was stalling me a little bit. I felt like that was elevating my insulin and knocking me out of ketosis. And so although I love heavy cream, and if it works for you, congratulations, because that's delicious coffee. I tend to use just grass-fed butter here lately. 
I feel like that works the best for me. But you'll have to experiment and see which one keeps you full, which one you enjoy the taste of, and which one keeps you on your way of eating. So what this does, there are three hormones that we're basically trying to hack. There's insulin, which is the most important hormone for weight loss or weight gain if you mess it up. There's leptin and there's ghrelin, okay? And these three hormones, once you optimize them, you can almost use them like sliding levers on an equalizer and get those hormones right where you want them, right? And when you do that, first of all, the whole goal of the key of any diet is to burn the fat on your booty and to burn the fat on your belly. And most importantly, to get rid of any fat that's in your liver or your pancreas, because those are very medically dangerous for you, right? And so if you have fatty liver, fatty pancreas, you definitely need to be doing the ketogenic diet. So when I have my morning bulletproof coffee, which I forgot to bring up with me, dang it, because I really could use a sip right now. When you sip on that fatty coffee, what it does is it optimizes your your leptin and ghrelin hormones so that you're not hungry. And that's that's such a hack. That's such a wonderful tool for the ketogenic diet because you're never hungry. You're not hungry at all. A lot of people tell me, hey, I forgot to eat. I just forgot to eat lunch because I wasn't hungry. And that's okay. If you're trying to burn the fat on your booty, then you don't want to be ingesting carbs and protein because then you, you got to burn those first. And then when you ingest carbs or protein, you elevate your insulin level and that turns off any fat burning in the booty area that might have been occurring, okay? So anytime you eat carbs or protein, you're not burning the fat that you wanna burn. You're burning the carbs and protein for energy, okay? So that's the power of Bulletproof Coffee, is for me in the mornings <clears throat> and in the early, uh, close to noon and early afternoon, I'll sip on my fat-filled Bulletproof Coffee. Now you don't have to put a ton of fat because it's absolutely true, you may have heard this, that if you use a lot of fat, you have to burn that fat basically first before you burn the fat on your booty. And that's absolutely true. So just put just enough MCT or just enough coconut oil or just enough butter in your coffee so that you're not hungry. It makes it easy. It makes it effortless to say no to stupid carbs or to protein because you're just not hungry, right? Now let's talk about fat bombs. What the heck is that? <coughs> fat bombs can be sweet. They can taste like coconut or Reese's Pieces, or they can be savory and salty. My beautiful wife, Nisha, doesn't really like sweets, and so she likes her fat bombs to be salty and savory. And I'm going to post a link to a book down below that has, I think, 100 recipes, and we've used just about every one because we, we use fat bombs as a tool in our house. So in the evening time, I don't know about you, but that's when I get sometimes ravenous, right? And Nisha says, I'm prowling the kitchen like a predator on the hunt. And what I'm really hunting for is not a good, uh, nutritious, you know, snack or meal. I'm hunting for carbs. And so if I don't do something to once again, hack my leptin and ghrelin, I will wind up eating carbs or eating too much protein in my evening hunger. Right. And so a good friend of ours, Melissa Inkster makes the most wonderful fat bombs and she makes these for us sometimes. And so I'll run to the fridge, grab one of Melissa's delicious fat bombs and eat it quickly. And it has zero carbs, no protein, and it's super high in fat and it's delicious. So what did I just do when I did that, right? I, I optimized my ghrelin and my leptin hormones. So now I'm not hungry or not as hungry, right? And then also I didn't elevate my insulin level. So I'm still, uh, once I burn that little bit of fat in the fat bomb, I'm right back to burning the fat on my booty and my belly, which is the ultimate goal. Does that make sense? Good. So say, for instance, like Nisha and I are having date night, right? We go out. And so uh, one of the easiest ways to use a fat bomb, if you go to a restaurant, is the little pats of butter. Make sure it's real butter because restaurants love to save money. And they'll do that by replacing real butter, which is a true, wonderful food. They'll replace that with crappy margarine because a lot of people don't notice the difference. I do. OK, and always ask, is this real butter? Is this 100 percent butter? And if they say no, then you need to give them this look. What's wrong with you? You're a restaurant. And you don't have butter. Huh? Right. So a couple of pats of butter before you even order. And so we'll often we'll tell the waiter, hey, could you bring us some pats of butter? And he's like, sure. And you want some bread? I'm like, no, I don't want any bread. I just want the butter. And they look at you a little funny, but. 
when they see what you look like when you stand up, they're like, hey, maybe I should try that too, right? So uh, I'll eat a couple of pats of butter right off the bat with some with some my ice water with lemon, and that just fills me up. And then when I do order, I order way, way less carbs. I order less protein, and I wind up eating a, a moderate protein, high-fat meal, a delicious meal that I love. I don't even think about dessert because guess what? I'm full. I'm I'm stuffed. I'm satiated. I don't want dessert. I don't even think about it. When they say, would you like to see the dessert menu? We're like, no, we don't. Okay. And so then we're going to go to a movie after this wonderful meal that we've just had. Guess what I'm not tempted by? I'm not tempted by anything behind the counter. The Reese's Pieces, the, the chocolate covered peanuts, the popcorn. No, I don't care. I don't want any of that because I'm full. And I know it may be a, a ground shaking concept for you, but you don't have to eat when you go to the movies. You can sip on some water, squeeze a little lemon in there, and you can enjoy your movie and not destroy your diet and still have a wonderful time with your date, but not mess up and still be sitting right there in the movies. Everybody else is eating popcorn and chocolate covered peanuts and have they've completely turned off their fat burning, right? But you, because you know how to use fat bombs, you're not hungry. And so you're sitting there enjoying this movie with your loved one, and you're still burning, actively burning the fat on your booty while you sit there in the movies. How cool is that, right? Now, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to put those links down below. So if you want to check out the book that's full of delicious fat bombs, uh, also the frother, I'll put a link down there for that too. But what I want you to understand is, these are tools that you can use. If you're wealthy or if you're broke as a joke, you can still use these tools to optimize your health, to lose the fat on your booty, and to get rid of the fat in your internal organs where it's really dangerous effortlessly and without starving to death, okay? That's how you use Bulletproof Coffee, and that's how you use fat bombs. There's no magic in eating a ton of fat. That doesn't hurt you. It doesn't elevate your insulin level much, but it also you've got to burn that fat before you go back to burning the fat on your booty, right? And so now you know how to use these wonderful tools to optimize your health, lose the most weight, and enjoy the best success on a ketogenic diet. If you've enjoyed this video and you think you've got, you know, newcomers to the ketogenic way of eating, please share this with them. Share this in your keto group and your low-carb, high-fat group, because I promise you there, there are beginners there who need to know this because they don't know. OK, and if you really love my videos, I have a Patreon link down below. It's a quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me keep having the time to make videos like this just for you. OK, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.